Alright, we're back here. Um, it's been a few weeks since I actually played this game. Because it is very difficult and I really have to be in the mood to play a game like this. I think I explained that in the live stream, so... Oh boy, here we go. I don't know if this is winnable, but I want to give it a good shot, at least. Um, we have 16 City Seri about to conquer Tokugawa. We have Justinian here being extremely painful to take out with tons of super promoted units in every city. He got given rifling, he got given cannons, and now he's on par with my tech. I no longer have the advantage. Yes, I have nine cities, he has seven cities, but... This city's useless, this city's useless, this city's useless, this city's useless, this city's still useless. I really have four cities. That can actually build units that matter, so yeah. Once I take Thessalonica, if I can take Thessalonica, I will be okay. I think what I'm going to try to do is put as much as I can into biology. I got forced into... Okay, first of all, I want to talk about that. I got forced into a peace treaty, right? By the Apostolic Palace. Now, some people left comments like, Why didn't you defy it? Why didn't you attack the city one turn earlier? You know... Okay, so... Can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure the reason I didn't attack earlier is because I wouldn't be able to take it. I would take two heavy losses, and it would mess me up. Um, I didn't have all my units there. I didn't want to get wiped out. I didn't want to lose this city to his army that was, like, stacking on the silver mine the whole time. That was pretty risky. Also, why didn't I defy it? Well, okay, here's the thing. If you defy a resolution... You, yes, you get the unhappy plus five angriness in five cities, which I kind of really can't handle right now. That's reason number one. Right, we're at the limit, kind of. Yeah, yeah. We can't handle five unhappiness. That means running the culture slider. Now, if you defy a resolution, you will lose your full member privileges. And you will only become a voting member. And what that means is... He will then be able to make... Resolutions to return the city of this to its rightful owner. And this one. And this one. And this one. He will be able to call resolutions to return the city and I will have to defy again. But, if I'm a full member, he can't do that. Because I'm just as powerful as he is here, right? It's actually Surrey who's the resident. We're both full members, so they can't pick favourites when we're both the same, you know, position. So I don't want to lose my full member privileges. Also, losing the AP hammers. Uh, four hammers per turn in all my cities because I built the monasteries and temples everywhere. Kind of a big deal. I don't really want to lose those. Okay, well, I lost the monastery one, but... Um, because I got Symeth, but I still have the temples at least, and that's still something, okay? So that's my reasoning on that. Um, if I don't defy, he can't force me to return the cities. If I do defy, he will be able to force me to return the cities. And if I have to return the cities, then... I might as well just retire this game, right? Because of how much trouble it's been to punch through him. Now, this city is probably screwed to flip back to Surrey. I'm actually not going to bother. I'm going to... Forget that. I'm going to fortify my units in these two cities and try to hold on to them. That would be good. If I could do something about his absurd culture. Um, we're going to go down on the hill train and take... Thessalonica. If I can take Thessalonica, I will be okay. I have units here. I have units here. I think I can do it. I might go... I'm thinking I tech as much as I can for eight turns. Or seven turns. At the last couple turns, switch back into nationhood and do some drafting. 
because I need more rifles, I need more units, I can't stop at that. Good news is his cities are flat land, or except the capital, but this one's flat land. This is where the bloodbath is going to be. This is the big one, and it's a flat land. And I still have a couple City Raider 3 cannons here, three of them. So I should take very minimal losses here. And I'll be able to um, take that, wipe his, most of his units out here, and then finish him off at the capital. Now with Suri Averman, I don't know what I can really do about Suri. I hope he finds somebody to bully, because if Justinian peace vassals to him, I'm kind of screwed. There's a lot of things that can go wrong in this game. Being forced to return cities, Suri attacking me, Washington attacking me, Justinian getting infantry, him sneaking around and taking his two cities back with some cavalry. Anything could go wrong here. This is why I have to be really focused on this game. It is probably the hardest DD game I've ever done in my life. But we can do this, maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do about Surrey. Um, he's not actually too big here. It's just like 11 cities right here. He's colonized Australia over here, we can call this. And... Yeah, he's colonized friggin' Australia. You know, that random desert island out in the middle of nowhere. Let's call that Australia. And, I don't know, Madagascar over here or something. <laughs> it's kind of similar to the world map, actually. Look at that. It's like North and South America, Asia, and Australia. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? But anyway, um... And then Africa's just, like, missing or something. I don't know, but... I think, I think it's kind of funny. But... Anyway, he only has 11 cities here, and if I also get, like, I don't know, 11 cities after finishing with Justinian, I can take him with tanks. I just have to get to tanks. If I can take Surrey and Tokugawa, I'll be good. And then it's Washington and Ahsoka. And I think we'll use mobile artillery for them. It might actually go into that era, if I don't fail with Justinian. The biggest part is getting Justinian. We're not done, and that's, yeah. I don't know what to do about Surrey. Um, so nobody's gone biology yet. I'm going to try to put as much as I can into biology for the next few turns. A maceman is really not going to help us right now. Just to start on universities. We're going to have to build Oxford later. Okay, now trades. We could get some stuff here. I'm getting fish and 10 gold per turn for copper. That's pretty good. I have two crabs and I should be getting more, right? Three, four with my work boats here. So we could go and trade all our crabs away to Surrey, for example. I don't like bumping this guy up, but I do need this stuff. Clam is the good one. I have harbors. I want to check. Do we have harbors or grocers more? We have two harbors, one grocer. Nice, dude. Um, anything else that's too health here? No, not really. Oh, the sugar? No. Okay, gold for sure. Let's just get the gold. We definitely want the gold. Right. We have the silver forever, so we'll do silver for gold. That's as good as it can get. And now, cr crab for... I mean, 26 gold would also be nice, but I don't think I can get that, right? Three coal. Like, look at this guy. He has everything under the sun. I'm going to draft and whip still. So I wonder how worth the health really is. Maybe a little bit. Um... These bastards won't give me anything. Is he annoyed? No, he's pleased. That's a much better deal. I need the cow. That's health. I only have one cow, apparently. Yeah. Silk. Silk for rice, that's a good trade. Tokugawa, my man.
We have more crabs, so this is okay for now. Okay, that's as good as we can do on the trades. I have more happiness now, so we can do a bit of drafting. Remember, nationhood gives happiness too. And the unhappiness we have here will tick down a bit. Whipped the living daylights out of this city, by the way. Alright. I think we're ready to start. Yeah, nice army, bro. And Tokugawa is dying. Oh, gems. What? This is pretty tempting. Two happiness in all cities at the cost of a little bit of health. Might very well be worth it if I want to keep drafting and whipping. I think I will take his offer here. We also want to check if Justinian goes for infantry. I don't think he can tech too much. His beakers must be terrible right now. I mean, they're all going to become rifles. I'm going to, I want to try and save my spy for later if I can not get him found. Good old Menden, no. Right. Yeah, it's going to be a grind, my friends. It's going to be a grind. Okay, so I don't want to waste all my rifles here. If it revolts, it revolts. I need to hold the position here. I want this this guy right here to be in the action, I think. I want that guy to be in the action. That guy to be in there. These two guys here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Could whip this, really, at this point. That's a bit better. Maybe take it easy for now. It can produce pretty fast. Uh, maybe I should just not whip here. And let that cannon build naturally. <clears throat> I have to keep making units though. We can't stop. Alright. He's plotting. Immediately plotting. How do you like that? Yeah, this city here is actually just a burden for me, unfortunately. I have to sacrifice many units to hold it. Wow, I have a lot of City Raider guys. Not enough actual combat ones. I think I went overboard on the Maceman. Oops. Uh, I don't like keeping a cannon here like that. It's not going to defend against shit. Let's put a City Garrison 2 guy in here. I don't think this is too under threat anymore. Like, three or four guys in here should be enough. Let me put a city garrison. Let me put these guys here. This should be enough to hold for now. Getting our culture defense back up to as time goes on. <clears throat> they 
I have to fix my capital up, don't I? Gonna take a while to grow back after that. Oh, we have... Do a bit of that, maybe. <sighs> 17 City Surrey, hmm. I mean, if Justinian doesn't get infantry, we can do this. Have a nice army here. Yeah, this cannon is just building naturally. Don't have to do anything crazy there. This city is pretty much a goner, so I think I'm gonna whip it. Whip what I can from here before it revolts to Surrey. And my economy's okay. Astronomy makes a big difference. Oh my god, he dropped a cautious, really? Wow, okay. Oh, great. I don't like working at tower like that. Can we... Hmm, maybe that. Minus six, you refuse to help us. What is with this guy? Minus six, just refusing to help us. Refusing to stop trading, minus two. What is wrong with this person? Such a prick. How can he be so deranged? Minus six. That's just messed up, dude. Boy, is he a pain in the ass. Oh my god, man. This will piss off Siri even more. No, he didn't care too much. I don't care about Siri anymore, dude. He's being a bastard. Don't like the fact Justinian is immediately in plotting mode, though. So he's still pumping out units like crazy as if he's at war. It's not like I gain anything from this peace treaty, except he's just going to have more units now. Really unfair. Uh, maybe a bank, huh? Yeah, let's get this thing built. I might just want more rifles at this point. I'm not so sure, man. We're gonna go for a whip though in a minute. A uh, draft, I mean. Oh, there he goes, and now he's cautious with me. Does he like organized religion? Yeah, maybe I need to go into that then to get the civic bonus. Or 
Oh my god, he doesn't even... Okay. I pissed him off a bit too much, I guess. Okay, you know what? Can I gift that back to him? Or gift that to him? Yeah. Not worth keeping that. Need him to be pleased or this whole operation is gone. He was gonna flip that city anyway. There's no doubt about that, so... I think it's okay. But, I need nationhood, I need rifles, if I'm gonna fight this monster. Okay, at least that- no, Justinian is still plotting. I don't even know on what, but on someone overseas. Wow, okay Justinian, dude. Be like that. This guy comes with. Maybe another guy defending that. He's got his cavalry running around everywhere. This place just starves down, I guess. After you're done starving, get a spy. Give up on that city. Um, just, just take the tiles here, bro. It's fine. It's enough cannons. Maybe a bit too many cannons. I need actual... Units. Don't know. I can keep drafting, though, actually. That's good. I have some leniency with Draft Anger now, because of all the happiness stuff I just got. Maybe we can bribe Ragnar in, so Seri doesn't take him in as a vessel. No. Do I need to renegotiate? Just so that doesn't get cancelled. It's a little trick you can do. Also, I have crab. I can get seven gold. I'll take everything I can get at this point, man. Alright, this is it. Bring one of these guys over. Bring you over like that, because you'll get kicked into the city in a moment. And I'll just draft again. I need everything I can get, my dude. Good old Mindano indeed. <sighs> okay. We're in trouble. Well, if he grabs Surian or Peace Vassals, we're kind of screwed, but... What are you supposed to do? I have a city garrison 2 guy I can put in here. This guy. I have 5 rifles defending this. I have 17 cannons with me. Don't tell me I can't do this. What are we up against? 
Oh my god. Pain. Anxiety. Death. Um, a watermill, okay. The watermill's here, but I can't build a watermill here, yeah. Okay, sure, dude. Whatever you say, man. Might lose this city. Nothing I can really do about that. He might just slam his cannons into it and take it back right now. All right, it's the end, guys. Diplo situation. I bribed in Ragnar, couldn't beg, and still get screwed. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Backstabbing it, please, you know. Instant peace vassal. And I got this as well, just to add salt to the wound, you know. It's just not possible with the peace vessel and crap. There's nothing I can do. He's minus six because he refused to help us during wartime while I'm at my own fucking war. Maybe I should have declared on Tokugawa to keep him at friendly and get Diplo points. I don't know. Then Tokugawa could get Ragnar on me or something, I feel, or I don't know. Lose all my trades. Well, let's try a cheesy reload and see if we can make it work. I really don't want to just give up this game, but if he peace vassals like that, I can't do anything. We'll try a cheesy reload. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Not sure, he's cautious now, look at this shit. The bribe thing is by chance, so you might find after a reload, or well, peace vassal, it's by chance. You might find it after a reload, it might not happen. I think we're screwed. Well, I'm gonna try to get some extra Diplo points here. Make Sari and stuff a bit more happy with me. We're also gonna gift him this city again. Do everything we can, but... I don't have a whole lot of hope for it. I'm sorry. Put that guy there. We need. We also need probably both of these guys here. He won't attack this one. It has 60% defense. It's not as much of a concern. Three turns. Well, I got him to please. I kind of want to keep. Yeah, well, just do everything we can. It's fine. I'm doing everything I can. I want to give this my best friggin' shot. But yeah, there he goes, Vaseline. What a little wimp. Instantly peace Vaseline. Um, friggin' seriously. It's just a disaster. It's a complete disaster of a game. Complete freaking disaster. I can draft the city, that's funny. Diplo situation though, not working out, yeah. Next turn. I have enough units to kill him, but... Suri has to behave himself, and... Yeah. The fact he refused the bag just screws us completely. 
even gifted him a city and everything. And now Ragnar hates me, okay. Here we go, deja vu. Yep, we're fucked. There's nothing I can do about that. Brag that this time he's angry now. All right, buddy. If it was an AI that didn't backstab it, pleased, or if I didn't get minus six from refusing to help. Then yeah, you could probably do this. I really would like to see what would happen if I took out Justinian, but sorry, he's not gonna let us do that, apparently. Would really like to see that, but yeah, you know how it goes. So it's just gonna instantly vassal, because there's a little bitch. There's nothing I can do about it. Yep. Oh well. <clears throat> That's a game, guys. That is a game. Hell yeah. There goes all my happiness too, because Surrey declared on me and I'm getting half my happiness. Yeah, because we really need a 21 city AI with two fucking vassals. Why not? Boy, I wish I started in the jungle with gems in my capital. Yeah, life is good, man. He doesn't even have gems in his capital. That's Washington. But no, he has every single freaking calendar resource. He has grassland, rivers everywhere. Boy, having great land is nice, isn't it, dude? 21 cities. Now Justinian's got his head up his ass and thinks he can friggin' just attack me. So this is not gonna work, as you can see. That's a game. He's just picking off my rifles with his cavalry somehow. Don't ask me how, but yeah. He, he just slammed all his units into me and now I can't even attack. Damn. Yeah, I, I'm, re I'm retiring. I can't even take the city now. He's just so aggressive because he's got a master sucking his dick. There's nothing you can do about that. There is nothing. Not even Lane could do anything if he could not beg from Surrey. There is nothing you can do. There are some situations that are just unwinnable. Anyway, I'm going to try not to get too angry. <sighs> Un unbeatable. And just an unwinnable map. From the position I was in. Maybe if I kept him at friendly, you know, it would be okay. But it's really hard to deal with AI that backstab you at pleased. It's really hard to keep them at friendly. Sari gives you a minus two every time you refuse something. Most AI don't do that, but Surrey's a special one, he, yeah, and he gives you minus two every time you say no to him. He's a real freaking pain in the ass to deal with. And when he's got 21 cities, you know, boy. Someone suggested I should attack with Aroma Warriors instead. I don't think that's going to work into Cataphracts. I really don't. Mm, the position I was in, I was way too weak. That's just not gonna work. This is the problem with fractal maps. 
in particular, they're really unbalanced sometimes, especially arid climate. It's like some people get completely screwed and then others get the best friggin' land or tons of land possible. I mean, look at Washington. He got pretty big, but Surrey was the real problem. If I could have got gotten my continent, the other one wouldn't have been so bad, but yeah. Maybe trying to leap astronomy was a waste and I should have gone for cannons earlier and rifles, but... I don't think I would have got there much earlier if I skipped astronomy and lived completely and just went guilds and all that. I really don't think it would have helped that much. Maybe shaved off five turns on my attack, but that's it. And then I would have had a dog shite economy that can't tech, because I have no trade routes and everyone was in mercantilism on my continent. And I'm just left here stranded at 180 research per turn or something. Like, yeah. Anyway, big mistake for me not declaring on Tokugawa or making peace with him earlier in the game. The fact Suri dropped from friendly is just a game over long term, I suppose you could say. He could have plotted on me at any point and d decided he wants to kill me and obviously refused my beg, so there's also that. So, in this situation, when you have a 20 city monster, yeah, keep him at friendly no matter what. And if they switch out of the religion, well, you're fucked. <laughs> It's just really tough to deal with monster AI like this. It wouldn't be such a problem if... If he didn't have so many cities and maybe... He wouldn't have taken him as a vassal because Ragnar was also at war with him, but... Me and Ragnar combined are smaller than Seri, so Seri's just like, Screw it, I'll take you both on. Come at me. I got 21 cities. Um, yeah. The no iron thing really hurts. No horses. Justinian eating all my tiles really made it tough, forcing me to go after him first, and he was the only friend I had. That was unfair. I imagine if Justinian was in Tokugawa spine, I had stupid Tokugawa next to me. Well, Tokugawa can't expand for shit compared to Justinian. He's a terrible AI. I could have just gifted him a city, got him to, ha to like me, and then, you know, stupid Tokugawa... I could just crush him later because he'd be backward, but no, Seri got to roll over him, and I had to deal with Justinian, who was a very strong, competent AI, builds tons of units, has his cataphracts, which are still a pain, even rifles die to them. I don't know. It's a tough map, it's winnable, but not with the way I played, I should have kept Seri at friendly. Anyway, we gave it our best shot. I'm gonna go try another Arid Climat DD game, I think, because I do want to beat it. Um, just a different map is all I need. I, I think I can beat this kind of map. Just didn't pan out this game. Oh well, not the best gameplay for sure. Um, I think the cannon rifle approach is good. I just, yeah, should have kept Sari friendly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.